What's up guys, it's HyperSugar, and this is Pirates of the Caribbean 1, and this is the only pie guide you'll ever need. Are you one of those support players that always tries to kill steal your team for fun and then get flamed for it? Well worry not, because I present to you Pike, the Blood Harbor Ripper. A kill stealing, crowd controlling, executing, drowned zombie pirate with dark intentions. People complained about Zoe, well we got this in return. And those who betrayed me. And I love it, this champ is not just edgy like Kane, Zed or Yasuo, but on a whole other level of bad, like dark bad. Pike is the Frankenstein of League of Legends, a champion recycled out of other abilities. Passive. Regeneration... something. Kane... why did I write Kane in the script? Pai can build health. All health he gets becomes AD and additionally, when he is out of vision, Pike regenerates recent damage taken from champions. Q. Get over here! Pike channels his inner scorpion from Mortal Kombat and then throws out his dagger, pulling his target closer to him. Now you can also just tap this ability and then it will just be a stab and a slow. This ability is great to use with flash and catch out enemies off guards when they think they are safe. Holding this ability will charge it and the longer you hold it the further his dagger will go. This is great to use with mind games, even tricking enemies so hard they hand over free kills. W. Air dive. But then underwater. Pike becomes camouflaged and gains movement speed. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. E. Dash stun. Pike dashes forward, leaving behind a drowned phantom that will return to him and stun everything in its path. Use E to get over terrain or to engage or escape and let massive stuns in a teamfight. R. And let's be honest, this is the only ability we care about. Press R to kill. Steal. Pike blinks to targets and executes low health enemies, also doing damage in an area. But killing a champion will reset his ability and hand over kill gods to your last assisting ally. Now basically, and this is like the dream of every league player, steal kills from your teammates without having to feel bad about it. To successfully use Pike, all in and going for the throat, going for the kill is your best option. Use Q and E with ignite and damage from your teammates to finish off enemies, using your ult to secure double kill gold and snowball from there. Now Pike is also a great and successful roamer. His stealth ability allows for great ganks, marking enemies for death in the mid and top lane. During teamfights, if you can engage and single out a carry, go for it. But remember, you're not real an assassin, you're more of an executioner. And CC is Pike's biggest strength. And what CC is better than sending those filthy enemy champions to the bottom of the sea, axing them into the ground with your ult, destroying their team. Use your ult wisely and try to go for the resets, for maximum value. Dart in and out of fights with W and E to gain health and re-engage from camouflage. As for builds, you can go for an aggressive damage build However, this makes you rather squishy and removes your engage potential since you'll disappear faster than the hype around fidget spinners when surrounded by an enemy team. Instead, going for resistances and more CC can be optimal since you will survive longer and have more chance to use your ult when the enemy team is low. This also gives your team some kind of engage and frontline even though you're not a real tank. Pike was released on the 31st of May 2018, the exact same day in 1911 when the Titanic launched and just like Pike, it sunk and people drowned. Coincidence? I think not. Now before I leave you guys, here are some tips and tricks when playing Pike. The jump scare. 
W, E and flash. Go stealth, E into your targets and just before your ghost hits you, flash to extend your stun range and take your enemies off guard. X gun give it to you. Now this trick uses your ult to extend the stun range of your E. You activate your E and then you ult to the target to close the distance and then stun from a long range. Now this combo is more situational, be careful with using it since you will use your ult and without your ult Pike loses a lot of his strength. The switcheroo. Now this little move can be a nice escape or just to make a play. Use your Q and then immediately E to switch places with your opponent. This is like the generic combo, but you can also use this over walls, which makes it for a very effective escape tool. Fatality! Now this combo can be used to quickly dispatch your target. Use your E to get in range and charge Q and then immediately ult on the place where your target will be mid-hook. This allows for an execute while the target is CC'd, so you can't really miss your ult. And trust me, that happens a lot. A lot. Shit, that happens so many times to me. Now you know everything you need to know to drown your enemies with Pike, the Blood Harbor Ripper. If you liked this video, please leave a comment and go check out my channel if you want more content. Leave your suggestions for other champion guides down in the comments below and feel free to follow me on Twitter or join our Discord server, the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to the Abyss.